Okay, how you feeling? Welcome back here to another video. We are in the middle of Hurricane Milton right now. We are in Southwest Florida in Cape Coral. Luckily for us, right now, forecast is having the storm hit land a little bit north of us. We're still gonna feel tremendous amounts of effects here. Wind, rain, tornadoes as we're experiencing right now. We just got through the first band of the storm. Um, dropped a bunch of tornadoes in our area. I'm gonna go outside here in a little bit. I'll show you guys what we're dealing with when it comes to the rain right now. The worst of the storm is yet to come. It is 1 p.m. right now, October 9th, Wednesday. And the worst of the storm is supposed to hit us around midnight from what they're saying. We're inside, hunkered down, everything's locked up, shutters are up, boats are tied down, and we are just waiting the storm, checking on things as we can outside, and just taking it from there. All right, we're in the middle of a hurricane, and what is Dana doing? Baking a cake. You gotta make sure you have your sweets. Look at that. She's been cooking all morning. We are currently tracking. about a foot. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh. They net in the kitchen. It is like 8 p.m. right now and it's blowing like 50, 60 mile per hour. Gust outside, extremely windy. We're very fortunate we still have power and then it's cooking up some dinner. So we're gonna have some dinner, keep watching this storm. I look like a ghost. Good morning guys. It is currently like 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, Idel said he didn't sleep anything last night. I was sleeping like a baby, but he didn't let me sleep. Mahi didn't let me sleep. Uh, he's currently outside trying to get the generator running. <laughs> so we are already in action. Yeah, Idel is taking off the shutters in the back. We got our generator running and we put in the fridge because it's been off since last night. So it is now on. And now he is just being himself. This is giving post Ian vibes. It was also kind of breezy, kind of cold, chilly. Ugh. Hate this feeling. <laughs> and without power. Our boat has survived two hurricanes. It's still usable. Yeah. Look at look at our travelers. <laughs> Welcome to my new kitchen. What you making, babes? Welcome to the new kitchen setup. So we're heating up some milk for our coffee, so we can make some cafe con leche. And then in this pan, I'm going to be toasting this bread we have still and making an omelette. So yeah, this is this is the new setup. We got a trash down there, courtesy of a Yeti bucket. 
and we kind of fixed up our patio area to be normal. And Mahi's loving, so we're barking at everyone and everything. <laughs> Alright, final product. Some open-faced egg sandwiches and coffee. Oh yeah. Bon appetit. Time for some yard cleanup. <laughs> Gotta get all these things out of here. Yeah, Adele's working on taking all the straps from the boat. And we took off some shutters. Kind of just making our home our home again. Much better. So the wind was, I guess, blowing the hardest like this. So our even, it even moved our coconut trees. So we had to put a strap on this one so we could bend it back to normalcy. Then this one, we actually don't mind that it moved. Now it's kind of out of the way for the driveway. That guy has a lot of cleanup to do. We got all our travelers and birds of paradise gone to shit, <laughs> but they're still hanging in there. Thankfully we have no roof damage, just a couple shingles that might be a little bit like floppy loose, but they haven't, but they weren't gone. And then this little tree here is my little trooper. This is a sugar apple tree, a red sugar apple tree. And look at it, even stayed with the leaves and everything. This baby is strong. And it's literally at the most vulnerable part of the yard, so crazy. And then Yaidel is now trying to fix our mango tree. And this mango tree also did not lose any branches or anything like that, which is nice. They've been through two hurricanes now. We had Helene. And now we had Milton, so these trees are troopers. And they were planted like a month ago, so. They're gonna be big and strong. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So this is our generator setup. We got two extension cords. Nothing on this side. It's crazy, but those shingles were from Helene. That thing just basically went by us and we had shingles loose. But Milton came and nothing. So it's pretty crazy how it works. It is now lunchtime. We have here some pork that I cut up. I made this pre-hurricane, all this. Um, and then this is just some kongui, which is just rice and black beans. This is mine. So what I do is basically I just heat it up all together in a little pan. What you got in that Yeti bin? Made myself a drink for lunch. You <laughs> feel like you deserve that drink? Yes, a lot of hard work and stress throughout the night. Final product, some avocado with mine. How's your food, babe? Very good. Perfect. Say other words. Hurricane food hits different. All these poles are crooked. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Dude, that's why that house burned, babe. Look at the house that burned. The family came back, babe. Wow. Oh, dude. Public adjuster. I. Oh, no. It wasn't even their fault. It was because the fucking. Oh, damn. All the street. Wow. Damn, that sucks, dude. situation it is nice and breezy under the tree so we are here just chilling Yidel is doing all the work he's gonna fill in those holes there from the boat trying to move the boat he actually got stuck there so he's gonna use the rocks from the fire pit to fill in the holes tradition with Hurricane Ian of uh, doing little afternoon like sunset walks uh, and it's really nice. Mahi loves it. It tires him out so he can sleep peacefully and it's really nice. You get to see all the damage for other people. <laughs> and see who has power. And yeah. Who doesn't. <laughs> see who has power, who we're jealous of because they have power. But um, so far, no, thankfully, not a lot of houses have damage. Just yeah. a couple like trees and stuff like that. A lot of people left surprisingly yeah. this year, so. Yeah, you don't hear as much generators, but it's not because they have power, it's because a lot of people are just not here. This little afternoon walk with the sunset. It feels really nice outside too. Temperatures dropping. Yeah, that's one nice thing about these hurricanes is that they leave behind some decent chilly like weather all right so this little neighborhood here which is in front of our neighborhood like the street across has electricity are you jealous babe? i am very jealous <laughs> look at them with their tv look at that you know what tv we got none <laughs> that's a radio back home now preparing dinner so I made some pasta pre-hurricane. So I'm gonna heat it up in this pan. I'm making some chicken outside, which I'll show you in a minute. But look at these lights. It looks like daylight in here. And it's these lights right here. Um, they are from my brother who's a DJ. So these are like up lighting uh, for his like DJ stuff. But they are so good. There's literally only two of these in the whole house. That's the only light. So it's that one and this one, and look at this. Oh, and then we have like that little light there, but that's that's literally ambiance light. It doesn't do anything. So yeah, these are really good. Don't boobs. Then we have one out here. We did it red so that way it doesn't attract any bugs. And then we have the chicken cooking right here. So we're gonna finish off dinner, eat, and we do have Wi-Fi now, so. That's a plus. Yeah, we could watch a movie on our phone, or our tablet, or computer, so that's definitely a plus. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it for our first day post Hurricane Mel uh, Milton. Milton. Oh, Milton, Hurricane Milton. <laughs> Um, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we have some power. See ya. Guess what? We got power. We got power. Ooh. We were literally just sitting out here and then we noticed our house has lights. It's lit. We got power monkey. You oh, can yeah. sleep with some AC.